Hey guys, what's going on? Today I have an amazing uh, tutorial to show you. If you're an owner of the Dexcom G6 CGM, Continuous Glucose Monitoring System, and you're kind of clueless on where to begin, this video is for you. Now, there's ways of placing it on specific areas on your body, uh, and that's normally on the stomach. But today I'm going to show you the proper way of placing it, and also some tips in order for it to stay on, uh, because it will come off depending on how you move or whatnot. So today that's what I want to show you. Now if you missed my other video of when I opened up mine or basically showed you uh, what you get in the system, you can click, I'll put uh, a, the link here that you guys can go see that video. So it's pretty simple. Uh, it's not dip of difficult, but people do have some issues and they're kind of wondering, how do I put it on? What's the proper way? And how do I keep it from falling off? Well, like I said, stick around and I'll show you in a second. First things first, you gotta know what your tools are. The first thing is your Dexcom G6 sensor, which you get and it comes in your kit that you got or when you order your stuff, you'll be getting these. It comes in a box. Um, you get, I believe it's three if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and then on the back, it shows you all that information and uh, your transmitter, which is this small little thing and it has its serial number on the back, um, an alcohol prep pad, which is very, very important because we need to prep our area before we place our sensor on. And that way it just uh, keeps from not coming off and allows it to stick better. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna be placing it. Um, I'm gonna be placing it right on my stomach right here. You have different areas that you could put it. You could put it anywhere on this area here where you have fat uh, because it does go into the stomach uh, you could also put it up on here in this area here that's what they recommend some recommend you put it on your arm there are other uh, things like the freestyle libre that but Dexcom does not recommend that you put it there you could put it on your stomach and that's the best way to go now what I like to do I like to put it on an area where uh, I have less trauma, meaning less to where I'm bending over, where it's not going to force it, you know, to make it loose or whatnot. So I'm going to pick a spot. Now the spot I'm going to pick is going to be, I'm going to say right here is good for me. I like it here, but you could put it here, but I prefer it up here. But like I said, you could put it any place that you feel you have fat. And we're going to just clean down that area like so all right get all that stuff up now if you especially if you have remaining glue from the actual old sensor that you had on you want to also make sure you get that really good because sometimes even taking a shower it doesn't come off we'll open up our package I started opening a little before okay now you want to save that paper this paper that's on top. You always want to keep that if anything goes wrong or whatnot. Okay, now here is your applicator. The applicator is covered with uh, um, a peel label that you got to peel off. On top, you're going to see that you have this uh, button here, and that's where you push to put the device in. Now, this clip on here is just to protect that case when it gets banged around, it doesn't uh, discharge. So what we're actually going to do first is I'm going to peel back the bottom portion, okay? That we can discard. However, the one on top that has this serial code number, you want to hold that on the side. You want to keep that because we need that to enter into our transmitter, or excuse me, our receiver or in our phone, whatever you're using, okay? So now what I like to do first is I like to take it in my hand and I like to look to see where I'm, I actually took wipe down that area and I see it here and I'm going to push it here and what I like to do you're going to push put it right on top of that area and I usually hold it down for about a few seconds give it a little rub so it adheres and then I'm going to take this thing and I'm going to bend it like that like that and I'm going to take that off Okay, then what I'm going to do is, with my other finger, I'm going to push, 
and that will discharge the sensor into the skin. You may feel a little pain, you may not. It all depends on where you place it. And what I like to do is I give it another little rub, another firm little rub, and then I pull away. They recommend that you take your finger and you go around a few times with it, around the adhesive, so that way it helps it stick to you. I like to go around a couple of times just to make sure that it's stuck. Now one thing I do want to mention, and this is off the record, um, they, Dexcom changed their, um, their sticky thing. The adhesive it used to be by 3M, and I noticed it's much more thinner and different than the original ones that I was getting when I first got my machine that you saw in the other video. I don't know why, I don't know if they cut back, they figured it'd be, uh, maybe it'd be a little more cheaper to make, but that is why you need something else to hold this down. Before we begin, um, what I like to do, and this is very important, the topic of letting it stick and keeping on, because remember, you're gonna shower with this, you're gonna be sleeping with this, and you may disturb the area. There is a couple of options that you wanna do, and uh, one thing is you wanna get an overlay patch. Now, there are two ways, there's a few ways, and one of them is buying a Tegaderm film strip. And I got this off of Amazon. Um, they are not uh, cut out for to go over. You would actually have to cut it out yourself and do it. There are patterns out there that you can draw and cut out yourself. But I got this off of um, Dexcom's website. These are overlay patches. They come 10 in a pack. And um, they're already cut out, pre-cut out. And I use these online because this holds very well. Um, so I'm gonna show you on how to put those on. And, um, but like I said, if you wanna do that, cut out yourself, you can. Or you can order these. Um, these are also like Tegaderm strips, overlay patches. As you can see, it's got the whole cutout already for it. So I like to put them on after, before I actually put my transmitter in the sensor. Now, I want you to notice something. There's some blood there, and that's fine. It all depends on the area where it's at. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel that off, and I'm gonna put it right on over that, like so. And then I usually I just lay it down, and I push down on it very hard. Go around like that a few times, like we put our sensor on when we first did it. Okay, and then there is, um, over here, you'll start to see where you can actually peel off and go around, like so. All right, now, and then we just go back around. You'll notice it came off a bit, but that's fine. We're just gonna go around it. And, uh, it's good because it'll keep the water out as best as it can when you shower and whatnot. So we'll take our um, transmitter and we'll put it into our thing here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it in this way, down through this way, the skinny end like that. And you put it in there and then you're gonna hear a click. Once you hear that, it's secured in place. Next, I'm gonna show you guys on how to put your code into your transmitter and um, in order to get your sensor started. Okay, I'm using the transmitter that you get with your Dexcom G6. Normally, I put it on my phone, um, but since I'm recording with my phone, I'm gonna to have to do it this way. So you're gonna hit the middle button and you'll see your screen to get to uh, new sensor. We're gonna hit our new sensor, tap that. We're gonna go to unlock it and it unlocks like a phone. And then it's gonna say, asking you to enter your sensor code. You're going to hit enter code, okay? Okay, now what you're gonna to wanna to do uh, is that you want to enter your sensor code, which is that's the what we the top portion of the sensor I told you earlier to hold on because this is important. We need this in order to activate our sensor. So we're going to go OK to the next screen. And now we're going to put on our number. Okay, and our number is 
117. Okay. All right, oops. Okay. Six, seven. And there you go. Let's, let's just confirm it. Make sure that's the right number. 9917. And we're going to go save. And then it's going to ask you if that's correct. Is this correct? 9117. And we're going to say yes. And then it'll confirm sensor code. Sensor code successful. And then we're going to tap next. I'm not tapping it right. <laughs> All right. So now it's going to ask you to insert and attach your sensor, attach transmitter, and then see product information for details. We've already done that. So we're ahead of the game. I'm going to hit next. And then it's going to ask you to start the sensor. And we're going to say yes. We're going to tap that. And then I'm going to unlock it and it'll say starting sensor. Now, there's gonna be a two hour warm up period for your sensor. That means that the sense, it's gonna be reading the sensor as the sensor warms up, basically uh, having connection with the, your blood and uh, you know calibrating it. So it'll be about two hours. Now you will not get any alerts, alarms, or sensor glucose readings until it's finished. Now. If you were doing this on your phone, uh, it will basically uh, catch up itself on the phone as well. So you won't have that, uh, you don't have to enter it in, uh, separately. You can if you want to, but other than that, you don't have to. It'll do it automatically. It'll pair up with each other. So if I had went to my phone and I opened my app, I'd get the same exact thing. Well guys, that is it for this video. I hope I was able to properly show you on how to apply your sensor for your Dexcom G6 CGM. Uh, and I uh, hope some of the tips that I gave on how to keep it on, uh, depending on all how it is on how active you are and showering, sleeping, etc. Uh, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment below. Let me know on how you like it and do you own one. And if you have any questions, maybe I can help you out. So feel free to do so. All right, guys, take care, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye now.